citizen lane your average film is not a story that needs to be told so accusations that this, the backstory of one of the most iconic screen characters ever, did and t need to be told are duffed. It's just that anything to do with Star Wars has not only to be a good film, but a good Star Wars film. A mixed bag in itself. This is a prequel, how Han Solo got his name, met his Wookiee and found the Millennium Falcon and, after a wobbly start it works fairly well on both levels with enough for SW geeks and non-geeks alike. It has to be daunting for an actor to play a younger version of an icon, doubly so when there is a director change during production. Creative differences meant Phil Lord and Christopher Miller ceded directorial duties to Ron Howard. Alden Ehrenreich takes some time to settle into his role as Han Solo but he does it, managing to avoid mimicry of Harrison Ford. We meet to him first on the planet Corellia where he and love interest Kira Amelia Clark are separated. Three years later, as a minion of the Empire and still dreaming of going back to rescue Kira, he hooks up with jaded mercenaries played by Woody Harrelson, Tandy Newton and John Favreau in CGI. A mission goes wrong and they end up indebted to criminal boss Dryden boss Paul Bettany in whose company they find Kira, who didnt needs saving after all. Another mission ensues. It pulls together the with action from the get-go and plenty of humor. Where it works less well is in the chemistry between Kira and Han. Parsec experts should be happy, but so too should the uninitiated, and young kids will enjoy the non-stop action, Aon O'Connor Club cert now showing one of the great strengths of renowned French filmmaker Claire Dennis is that her films are like portraits, great detailed studies, usually of women, at a particular moment in the life. Leonor Sarai debut as writer, director has that same quality, respecting the audience's intelligence, she creates a complex character through layers of detail. The Dennis comparison however is in no way to undermine that Sarai film is very much her own, told in her own style and about her own generation. It is both specific and universal, a personal story that raises broader questions given life through a wonderful performance by Letitia Dosh. Paula Dosh is 31 and has just come out of a long-term relationship with Joachim Gregoire Montsangin, her former teacher whose current success as a photographer is based on a photo of Paula. Unceremoniously dumped, she loses all sense of herself and goes slightly mad. She has burned a lot of bridges with friends and family, so effectively finds herself starting from scratch. She survives because she must and in doing so finds that the goal that kept her going in the beginning is not necessarily what she wants. It also raises broader questions about the meaning of freedom. An interesting and not always likable character, Paula makes a great lead. There's no clear timeline, just progress, and it's told well and with humor. Aon O'Connor's at 15A now showing IFI Leon Vitali thought he had made his breakthrough when he was cast in the role of Lord Bullingdon in Stanley Kubrick's sprawling 1975 period epic Barry Lyndon. By the end of that shoot, on location in Ireland, Vitali was so enamored with Kubrick that he gave up his pursuit of an acting career and joined Kubrick's production team, eventually becoming the great director's right-hand man. You had to be made of certain stuff to survive working with the furiously demanding Kubrick. A Gordon Ramsay-type figure in Vitalis' own words, Kubrick insisted on overseeing every minute detail of his productions, from the score to the dialogue to the marketing. As a result, Vitali sacrificed much of his family life to work long into the wee hours on and off set on projects such as The Shining, Full Metal Jacket and Eyes Wide Shut. Tony Ziera's spunky and well-assembled documentary will be vital for Kubrick completists but also delivers in its own right as a study of a real character who applied grit and determination to a starry-eyed idealism that remains to this day. Hilary A. White's at 16 now showing against a relatively meager budget, for a Marvel film, of $58 million, Deadpool did enormous business in 2016 by bursting the swollen pomposity of the spandex-clad genre and inserting irreverence, bad behavior and a devil-maker humor that wasnt afraid to turn both barrels on itself. Producer, co-writer, star and pillar of the franchise Ryan Reynolds and director David Leach John Wick, Atomic Blonde owned Monkey with the winning formula for this second outing for Marvel's mercenary with a mouth. And with the world currently on its knees before the hulking grandeur of Avengers, Infinity War, it feels somewhat agreeable that the next release bearing the Marvel tag is an adult-rated middle finger to such imperiousness. Deadpool Reynolds, a.k.a. Wade, comes across a young mutant boy Julian Dennison with destructive powers who is the target of a time-traveling assassin called Cable Josh Brolin, who, oddly, also stars in Infinity War. Cable believes the boy will one day wreak havoc on the world.
Wade wants to protect the troubled lad and hires mutant all sorts to help. Don't be fooled by this civilized plot outline. Deadpool 2 is mostly a litany of violence, off-color gags and enough fourth wall breaks to make you wonder if it's possible for a comedy film to be too self-aware. If you hated the first outing, steer clear. If you didnt, you'll love it. Zazie Beaters and Morena Bakker and co-star, Hilary A. White Citizen Lane Citizen Lane Search G. Selected Cinemas Hard to Fathom and Difficult Not to Adore, was how artist William Orpen described Hugh Lane, art collector and patron, who a century ago battled to open a modern art gallery that would put Dublin on the world map. Awful title aside, Citizen Lane is a sumptuous docudrama that sees writer Marco Haller and Adam Paul, Viva and director Thaddeus O'Sullivan address Orpen's first point by bringing to life a name over a gallery door with elegance, wit and academic rigor. Plus C.A. Change. Lane, a stately Tom Vaughan, Lawler, has philistinism, nationalist dogma and even a housing crisis halting progress on his quest to find a suitable home for his collection. Essential viewing for anyone seeking a better understanding of our complex capital city, Hillary A. White Sunday Independent.